Today, I'm doing the world's smallest aquarium part two. So we've got little rocks right here. I don't know if I should do blue and uh, oh, that is the one right there. Microscopic. Perfect, appreciate it, thank you. Bunch of pregnant mollies and platies, as you can see, the bigger stomach. There's mini moo in that current. This is gonna look really cool. Micro. What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here. I do a series on this channel every once in a while. I'll do like the world's coolest aquarium, the world's smallest aquarium, so on and so forth. Here's a few of the videos right there, and uh, yeah. Today, I'm doing the world's smallest aquarium part two, because I did do a part one. The fish, the tank, the whole nine yards. We're gonna set it up right quick. And uh, it did very well, so uh, I'm back to do another one. And I've already found the aquarium. I walked straight up to this, and I was like, this is the one. So you can see how small this is right here. Then we're gonna go pick out two little decorations, rocks and then some decorations, put it into this, and then get a feeder fish to go in here for literally like seconds. And uh... And then we'll put him into the fish tank, the 160 gallon. Alrighty, and the first thing I see is some pebbles. I don't know which ones I'm gonna get. This will probably hold one of these little bags perfectly. So we've got little rocks right here. I don't know if I should do blue or the red colored ones. I don't know. Blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. I'm just gonna go with red. I think red will look a little bit cooler. So uh, we've got like a rainbow colored rock package right here and uh, something to go in the tank. Tuna. No, this is a pretty cool little tray here. 278 a piece for these. Shark and uh, oh, that is the one right there, bro. Look at that frog on top of the duck. That's her. That's gonna go right in the middle of this. So that is our aquarium right here. But real quick, I need to get fish food because I wanna feed the fish in the tank and I usually get something like this. All right, we're gonna get this right here, tropical flakes. All right, so we gotta pick out a fish here. I usually don't like buying fish from Walmart anymore now that I see how they treat them, but I'm here. Why not pick up a literally the smallest little guy back there in that back corner? All right, I'm gonna grab one of these Rasbora fish in this back corner here, the smallest one I could possibly find because the aquarium is very small. Like that guy or something. Microscopic. There we go. Perfect. Appreciate it. Thank you. Where is he so small I can't find him? There he is, right there. This right here is probably gonna be one of the coolest ones I think I've ever done. Guys, let me take this time. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, join the family, don't miss out. I've been posting almost every single day lately. I don't know how long that streak will go on for. I usually tend to post every other day, but uh, I like posting, so who knows. Alrighty, self-checkout. Here we go. Select from list or key in the item's code. And there we go, everything is in here and that right there is the 160 gallon fish tank. We also have some baby mollies in there. As you guys know, because I keep you updated on pretty much everything, we also have two beta fish. One in the kitchen, his name is Thomas. And one in this room, her name is Luna. First things first, let's get our buddy out here. Guys, comment down below what you want his name to be. I don't know if we'll even be able to find him in a 160 gallon tank, but we're gonna release him into there after this. He's in that bottom left corner there, dude. You barely could see him. Next, we've got our food. We're gonna feed the fish in just a little bit. Our bag of rocks, Aflac and frog. Actually, it isn't Aflac. And last but not least, our aquarium. It's, it's meant for like organizing your drawers, so like pencils and that kind of stuff. But you know, we're making an aquarium today. First things first, we've got our aquarium. What I always like to do is rocks first. I'll let these rinse out for a little bit, just like that, and as you can see, the water flows out the bottom there. Easy way to rinse your rocks without having to take them out of the bag. Good enough, let it slowly drip out. All right, now that we got that squared away, we're gonna pour the rocks in. This is gonna look really cool. 
Look at that rock right here. Look how sick that rock is. That looks like enough for what I'm doing here. We'll save the rest, we can save that to the side here. Now there's the aquarium with the rocks in it. We're gonna get our duck here, place them right in the middle. Shove the rocks right around her. Just like that. And there is our aquarium. Let's get some water in it. Put some dechlorinator in there. Give it a little bit and uh, we've got our water. And we also have one of the tester packages that'll easily dechlorinate just a little tiny aquarium. This is this is what comes with like your, your beta fish aquarium sometimes. So here we go. Remember this fish is going right into a 160 gallon tank right after this. That is literally filled to the top. Not good, not good at all. Um, we definitely need to get some out of there. Oh, yep, that's all over my leg. Dechlorinator, pop it open by the side right there. Now we're gonna give it a little bit with that dechlorinator in there, and then we should be set. We've got our miniature net as well here, and we are gonna pour our fish out of this into this. This bag is a little too big to acclimate it. We could try, but that's kind of what would happen right there, see? It just wouldn't work, so. Let's go get this fish into this net and then put him in his new little home. There he goes. Oh my gosh, dude, he's so small. Micro. <laughs> Look at him. That's like a big aquarium for him, literally. That's how small that fish is. That's a big aquarium. He's in his new home. Actually, his home for like a minute, not even. But buddy, how do you like it? It's pretty good, right? <laughs> so that is uh, another episode of the world's smallest aquarium here. Part two. There it is, we actually added a fish this time. Sometimes I don't add fish. We're gonna get this thing into the tank now. Here we go. All right, just like that. Fish is back in the net. I don't know how long it'll last in this giant tank here, but there he goes. There he goes. He's free. He's swimming down. He's going down to the bottom corner. Alrighty, well. That's that. Let's feed the fish real quick. Before we feed the fish just yet, let me do the positive comment shout out. Today's winner goes to Dirt Bike Rider, saying, love your videos, they put a smile on my face, you have inspired me to build my own pond. I love those comments, I see a lot of the comments down below saying, you've inspired me to build my own pond, so on and so forth. I appreciate all the support guys, you know I love you. Thank you so much for watching all these videos. If you guys do want a chance to be in one of my upcoming videos, just comment something positive down below and hit that like button. So what I picked up was some flakes, and we're gonna feed the fish. We have a bunch of mollies, goldfish, koi fish, butterfly and common, and uh, platies, guppies, pretty much anything you can think of. These are all fish from my mini pond that was in the backyard. As you can see, normal flakes right there. There we go, they're always hungry. And I'll stop eating. Time to eat. Oh, we got some garamis as well. We got a garami here, a flame garami. Bunch of pregnant mollies and platies, as you can see, the bigger stomach. There's mini moo in that current, which is the goldfish. Bingo and dingo are the names of the two giant goldfish. That's dingo. Look at that powdered blue garami right here. Such a cool looking fish. Yellow grommy up there. That is, that's pretty much it. So guys, without further ado, thank you for watching. This was another episode of world's smallest, world's weirdest, world's coolest, so on and so forth. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If hit the like button for more of these episodes like this. Thank you for watching. As always, until next time, I'm Paul Caffaro, and I'll see you in the next.